Hey, welcome to Origination Overload. I, today I thought I'd take a break from the gray hoodie and wear something else. <laughs> there are many repetitive actions we do when making music. Sometimes what's most important is to get ideas done fast. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a template. So firstly, what I'd recommend is make sure that you structure your folders in a way that makes sense to you. Let me show you how I do mine. As you can see, I've got a clap folder with various claps in these folders. I've got all my snares in various folders. How I'd go about doing this is I'd create a redrum just for my kick and I'd rename it kick and reset it and I'd load kicks into each one of these. Go to my kicks, I go to one folder and I take the first kick and I drag and drop it. Go to my second folder, first kick, drag and drop it. I'll do this for the rest of the redrum. So now I've got this one redrum with a whole lot of kicks loaded. What's cool about doing it this way is for example, if I lay down a kick like this and I play it, now I can just cycle through and find the right kick. I'll then do the same for my bass and other sounds that I use quite frequently like pads and melodies. For your synths, what you need to do is, for example, go to factory sounds, find the synth, go to bass patches, drag and drop the first bass patch on your synth. Then you can just cycle through the bass sounds by pressing down. Okay, so this is what my template looks like in the end is that you can see I've separated my percussion and it's, they've each got their own redrum for the kicks, claps, snares, hats, etc. I've got various Dr. Octorexes loaded with different kinds of beats in them. I've created a couple of different synths with bass patches loaded. Again, so it's just easy for me to cycle through sounds to find the right one. And I've done the same for melodies, pads, riffs, etc. What I also recommend is coloring your different channels so you know what they are and putting them in a relevant position that makes sense to you. For me, I like to put my bass and my kick on the far left. So over here I've got bass sounds, my kicks, my percussion, and my melodies are colored different. Same with the pads and the riffs. If you want to know how to color something, you right click on its channel color. And if you want to know how to rename something, you double click it. What I also recommend is making the stereo width of everything mono and writing your tracks in mono and only using the stereo width and panning them later on when you start to mix your track. Another thing which might help is going to your master section and adding this utility to it. So you'd go all the way to the top, show insert effects. So click on your factory sounds folder and type in mono. Scroll down to the bottom and look for the stereo and mono flip and drag and drop it. Let me show you how this utility works. So later on when you're mixing and you want to make sure that things are making sense in mono, you can hear that the one sound's going left, and the other one's going right. And you can just click this mono button, and you can hear them together in mono. You might find what will also help is to select all your channels and to drop them by about six to 10 decibels. This will help later with your gain staging. What can also help with your workflow is to create a couple of send effects for later on. So right clicking, click on create send effects, and add some reverbs and some delays. Also other things that might help is to already set up your effects chain. So adding screams or various compressors and equalizers that you might use for later. I generally like to use distortion on my kick, so I'll add a scream, I'll bypass it, I'll add a compressor, bypass it, and add some EQ, bypass it for later. Once you've set up your template the way that you like it, what you need to do is save it, then click on edit, preferences, and over here you'll see default song. Generally, it will be on empty, so you need to click on templates and then browse for where you saved your template. So now that your template is saved and you click new, your template should load. Yeah, and there we go. 
If you found that interesting or helpful, please like and subscribe. Cheers. Origination. Overload.